ground is shaking. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh. The moment the mountain shook. Our sense at that point was this is a huge, huge avalanche. From those that were there. <laughs> a nightmare on Everest. Four corners. A teacher accused. Oh, it was shocked. I just kept saying to the police, this is not true. A system flawed. There was something untoward about that conviction. And a fight for justice. I want to know why this has happened to me. She was innocent. If it could happen to her, it could happen to anybody. Australian Story. Tell me places, all the places that you think that I should go. Good morning and welcome to Weekend Breakfast. Start your weekend being informed. Making news this morning. Bringing you the headlines and the stories. Still to come. Keeping you connected across the weekend. We'll have more on that. Weekend Breakfast, Saturday and Sunday on ABC News 24. This is now a regular occurrence in Beirut as another car bomb explodes. This is one of the most dangerous communities in all of South Africa. As the crisis unfolded, the city was locked down. Reporting for ABC News 2024. This morning, Treasurer Joe Hockey says he understands the frustrations of first home buyers, despite being labelled out of touch by the opposition. Well, I understand the depth of feeling. I, of course I do. And that's why we are working so hard to build the infrastructure, uh, to build the jobs, to build the opportunities for people to get ahead. Also ahead, a woman who was badly burned in that far north Queensland cafe blast flown to Brisbane for specialist treatment. A couple in Sydney's inner west become the latest victims in a spate of fires caused by faulty Samsung washing machines. And a climber who was once afraid of heights conquers an arch 130 metres above London's Wembley Stadium. And he had his selfie stick. Hello and welcome to Mornings on ABC and ABC News 24. I'm Joe O'Brien. Taking a quick look at the weather first in the capital cities around the nation today. Brisbane, a possible late shower with the top of 23. Canberra, early frost then partly cloudy and a top of 13. Sydney, a few showers clearing. Melbourne, partly cloudy. Hobart, a possible shower and a top of 12. Perth, sunny. Adelaide and Darwin, mostly sunny. The Treasurer Joe Hockey has this morning acknowledged that his comments yesterday on housing affordability were insensitive and he understands a prospective homeowner's frustration at his suggestion that they get good paying jobs to afford a home. Mr Hockey has been labelled insensitive and out of touch after he said the starting point for anyone wanting to buy their first home should be to get a good job that pays good money so they could afford a loan. This morning Mr Hockey has told the ABC that his opponents should play the policy and not the man. Political Reporter Anna Henderson joins us now from Parliament House in Canberra. Anna, good morning. So what's the Treasurer had to say this morning? Hello, Joe. Well, certainly we've heard from the Treasurer this morning somewhat of a, a walking back of some of the rhetoric of yesterday. Certainly the, the Treasurer has justified his comments from yesterday, which were so inflammatory. But at the same time, he says uh, that he does think that it is expensive to live in Sydney, that it is difficult for first home buyers to get into the market. He's certainly much more sympathetic in his language this morning than he was yesterday. As you mentioned, yesterday he was talking about suggestions that Sydney was unaffordable as not being true given that houses are still being bought there and also saying that there was a need for people to get a good job and earn a good income if they wanted to buy a better property. So let's take a look at Joe Hockey this morning. His language certainly tempered. They're very expensive. I mean, for, for a lot of people, a lot of Australians in Sydney and Melbourne, uh, some other parts of Australia, housing is very hard, very expensive. And I understand that. I Look, I totally understand that. Uh, when, when you're committing so much of your wage to your mortgage, it's, it's a big ask with all the other pressures in life. Joe Hockey there on the AM program on ABC Radio this morning.